Hello YouTube and welcome to another video about Notepad++ So actually today we'll be talking about plugins Plugins are extensions that help us to improve our experience using Notepad++ So I open Notepad++ So in order to install a plugin it's very easy you have to go to the menu plugins then plugin manager then show plugin manager and here you can see all the available plugins that you can use with notepad plus plus so I will begin by, by a very simple plugin called explorer so in order to install it it's very easy you search and available many uh, available tab for the Explorer plugin okay then you check it and you hit install as you can see here there is a message notepad++ need to be restarted so we hit yes and it started so the plugin is installed so what does this plugin do? So it's very easy. As you may know, if you want to open a file using uh, Notepad++, all you have to do is to go to the file and open menu. But there is another way. There is also a shortcut here in the bar menu. But when you install the Explorer plugin, as you can see here it's been added to the menu so if you click the explore the explorer then you see here there is a list or a view of your entire computer with all its files and folders so there is a folder view and file view here there is even a filter here that you can customize for example, if I want to see all the PDF files, it's very easy. And if you want to open a file with this plugin, it's very easy. All you have to do is to drag and drop your file. So it's a very useful plugin that allows us to navigate our computer in order to open files. And if you want to disable it, it's very also it's very easy. You go to the plugin menu, Explorer. Then to, you have to uncheck uh, the mark in front of the Explorer. Okay. Our next plugin is the Auto Save plugin. So as always, in order to install it, we go to the plugin menu, then plugin manager show plugin manager and we search for the auto save here it is we check it as you can see here there is a little description so the auto save plugin allows to automatically save the current open files so we install it we restart our notepad plus plus and it's installed so this plugin actually allows us to save our work automatically. So if we go to our plugins menu again, you can see the auto save menu has been added and there is options for it. So here you can see that you can actually the auto save will be enabled if you check the first uh, checkbox notepad plus plus will auto save when it loses focus or you can auto save at time intervals so you can auto save it you, you can auto save your work every one minute or you can do two minutes if you want so this is a very very useful plugin if you forget to save your work especially 
when you work in a very big text file. Our next plugin is the multi clipboard plugin. So we're gonna go to install it, plugin manager, show plugin manager, and we go to, to look for the multi clipboard. We check install yes so this plugin actually as you can see it's been added to our menu as you know when you copy and paste things it copies it pastes just the last one you have copied with this plugin installed you can actually past previous things that you have copied so let's say for example let me write something very random or here for some text here for some numbers and here some my name for example then some numbers then some text okay and we copy that, we copy the first line, we copy the second line, third one, fourth one. And if we activate our multi clipboard viewer, you can see that all the things we have copied had been placed in the clipboard. So if we want to copy something you can just drag and drop it or you can use shortcut control shift V and here you can see all the things you have copied so you can choose between which one you want so it's a very very useful plugin that you can use when you are editing text files our last plugin is the compare plugin. The compare plugin also is very very useful. Let's for example open two files that oh first I have to install it, sorry. So plugin, plugin manager, show plugin. So it's called compare. So we search for compare. Okay, we install it as always. Restart our Notepad. Okay, so now we open two files. I already created two files with uh, something. Okay, so we have uh, output and output 2 so here we have the output the first file and second file so we want to compare these two files so it's very simple with compare plugin so we go to plugin compare and then hit the compare menu as you can see it automatically detects the line for example this line has been removed and another line has been added here and for the yellow uh, color this line has been modified as you can see some text has been added here and here there is a visual comparison between the two files so it's a free plugin that you can use in order to compare two files it's very useful and it's free so i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye